you're kind of doing it all in real time to a yeah. degree. So, so that kind of road to discovery is, is being played out on, on camera. Um, it, it was, it's like the luxury of season one when Mason, you know, you, again, in real time, M Mason is staggering his way into becoming a trial lawyer, whereby you didn't have to come in day one and be this very slick um, kind of performance level trial lawyer. I was allowed to kind of bumble and fumble in front of everyone as Mason did. And that goes the same for season two, where he's in so much transition, you're allowed to do it, like I said, in real time and on camera. And that, I think, as yeah. an actor, is is a real luxury. I suppose a small concern I had was that we don't just take off from the end of season one when all the, the garden was rosy for Mason and, you know, his name's on the door and his feet are under the desk. Um, you know, I was like, well, where, where does he go from here? And I was, I was, I was relieved or more so excited when they kind of said, well, listen, when we find him six months later, he's, he's having a real crisis of faith about himself, about his own capabilities or qualifications and how he's dealing with that kind of imposter syndrome. Yeah. So I like the kind of about turn they took on it um, from seasons one to two. There was one <laughs> moment when we were filming a, a big court scene. I won't say what happens. And we'd all been in there for uh, three days. Oh, gotcha. And um, and it was kind of emotional. We'd all been on such a journey with each other through this season of really collaborating and figuring out what we wanted to say this year. And so Matthew, Chris and I were on the phone a lot, talking a lot and having script yeah. meetings, like really sort of hashing out because we cared so much about these characters. And we got to the end of this sort of three days in the courtroom. I know this is a very long answer, but no. um, at the end, it was emotional. And Matthew stood up and just gave this really lovely speech at the end of a very long day, thanking all of the people that had been there as as onlookers in the courtroom and given so much time. And it, and it, it, it was one of those moments where I thought, he is that kind of leader. He's a wonderful mm. leader of a company. I feel Everyone. like we were all very lucky to have each other. Yeah. Because this season, especially being a pandemic season, being a season where we have so many new people with new ideas, we often realized that another person was being strong when we couldn't be strong anymore. Um, that was often you, but <laughs> Matthew and I'd be so tired and you'd be like, we're Come still on. going guys. And we're like, oh, thank God for Juliet. So, so I think we all took certain very specific leadership roles to navigate what the season and, and the different issues of our season, we all, we're lucky to have each other. I mean, it's it's amazing. Like he is everything that you probably experienced in talking to him. He is charming. He's witty. He's deep. He's messy. It's all these things that make not only a great actor, but a great Perry. And he brings all of that to the table. You can throw anything at him, whether again, it's meant to be humorous, tough guy stuff, dramatic stuff, and he can nail it. He has that kind of Paul Newman twinkle in his eye yeah, as well, yeah. which which works really well. And he, he is wonderfully, he plays so well in period. There is something that's like non-specific about his, his look in that regard. And I, I will say that as we watch, whether it's dailies or the cuts, when Robert and I watched it together, I love seeing him as a fellow actor who's he's probably Matthew's biggest fan. Um, and he is like cheering him on as he's watching these details and nuance and performance, almost like a sporting match. Like I've never seen that before. He's like, oh, the only one. He's like yes, nailed it off, oh, man. Oh, man. And he just loves it. He's like cheering him. And it, it is great. And you're absolutely right. I think that the fact that you look at him and you go, no one else could have done it means like we've done our job but he's nailed it too it, it was to me so humbling to work with someone like him because of the professionalism that he brings and the sort of the tone that he sets um and um and and bringing his own humility to 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 it that there, that that there was no ego so that we could collaborate and talk and and feel like we we each had an equal voice and that's that's so key to making a a great show and and having a great uh just working environment altogether